Hello dear students, welcome once again to online video lectures. In the previous video we have studied the poem written by Mr. Don McLean. He has been inspired by the paintings made by Mr. Vincent Van Gogh. He has made very beautiful paintings and he has been an inspiration for many poets and many authors who has been inspired by the paintings made by Mr. Vincent Van Gogh. So they were uh, inspired to write many songs. One of the song is given here which is being framed by Don McLean. Let us read it and understand what he wants to convey. He has been seeing the paintings made by Mr. Vincent and uh, he is impressed by the paintings. He is uh, praising the beauty of the paintings by the following word. Let us read it out. Paint your palette blue and grey. Look out on a summer's day. With eyes that know the darkness in my soul, shadows on the hills, sketch the trees and the daffodils, catch the breeze and the winter chills, in colors on the snowy linen land, starry, starry night. By these lines, the poet wants to tell us that his palette was filled with colors like blue and grey. He has been able to bring out the exact picture of summer's day with darkness in the soul that his eyes are representing he has been able to bring the exact shadows on the hills he has sketched the trees and the daffodils like they are becoming life and like real flowers and trees he has caught the movement of the breeze during the winter seasons when the when the weather is chilled and the breeze is cool and blowing in a rapid way he has painted such pictures in such a way that a viewer is able to see the motion of the breeze he has also painted the snowy linen land such that it looks very real he has uh, drawn a portrait of starry night he has brought the darkness of the night which looks very real to us he has also made the flaming flowers that are very brightly, brightly blazing. They look like real. He has been able to bring the swirlness in the clouds with his violet haze color. Reflect in Vincent eyes of China blue. He has been able to see the exact swirling of the clouds, the flame which has been observed in the flowers. He is able to, his eyes which are blue in color, he is able to view the colors who are, which are taking the changes. He has been able to draw the exact color of the morning fields and he has been able to draw the green in an amber way, in a very happier way. He has also drawn the weathered faces which are lined in pain and are soothed beneath the artist's loving hand. So the author, the poet of this poem, the Mr. Don McLean, he has been praising the beauty of the paintings which are made by Mr. Vincent Van Gogh. During his whole life, he has been able to make nearly 900 paintings and he was an inspiration to many people. The paintings done by Mr. Vincent Van Gogh looks very real that you cannot uh, describe whether the painting is real or unreal. The exact view and the real view on the paintings were easily uh, noticeable. The paintings was inspiration to many of the poets and the authors. So this will end the activity number one. Activity number one is based upon the poem which was written by Mr. Don McLean in the praise of the beauty of the paintings done by Mr. Vincent Van Gogh. We know that Vincent Van Gogh is not Indian. He is a foreigner. But do you know there is an Indian painter also. He has drawn such beautiful paintings that you will be 
really impressed on seeing his painting so do you want to see the paintings if you want to see the paintings continue the video <laughs> don't skip it in the end i'll be showing you the paintings done by that indian painter let us go with activity number 2 at present <clears throat> it is describing about a world famous indian painter his name is manjit bawa he was born in punjab in 1941 his elder brother was manmohan singh bawa who encouraged him to study art <clears throat> after studying art at college of art in new delhi <clears throat> he went to england to work as a silk screen printer or the printer we can say in our gujarat also we have a very fine college of art which is known as faculty of fine art in ms university of baroda <clears throat> so dear students if you want to learn fine arts you can seek the prospectus of university of baroda under the faculty of fine art let us continue the story of manjit bawa <clears throat> when he returned to india he was confused of what to paint he said that on my return i faced a crisis i asked myself what shall i paint i couldn't be just another follower of european style of painting i had been brought up on stories from the mahabharat the ramayan and the puranas on the poetry of varisha varisha is a famous punjabi poet and readings from the guru granth sahib which is a holy book of the sikhs thus many of the paintings are mythological stories manjit bawa's canvas are distinguishable distinguishable in their colors the ochre of the sunflowers the green of the paddy fields the red of the sun the blue of the mountain sky means you can distinguish each and every color he always uses bright colors to <coughs> describe his painting he was one of the first painter to break out the dominant grays and browns and opted for more traditionally indian colors like pinks reds and violets so he used bright colors and he brought life to his paintings one of the famous painter <coughs> known as manjit bawa so in the bottom of the page it is given here if you are a painter what would you paint and why would you paint so you have to write your own answers in your textbook itself and complete this section let's go to activity number 3 <clears throat> it is a partner activity you have to write the name of your friend in the first column and ask him or her what would she or he will like to paint and what is the reason of choosing that particular topic so you have to ask two of his two of your friends and you have to fill the table here that will be the work for you that will be your homework and you have to complete it let's go to activity number 4 as we have observed in activity number 1 and 2 painters use different colors and they have different styles of paintings there are many artists who use different media to express themselves they use stones they use clay they use fabric they use iron and other metals andy goldsworthy is a unique artist he uses these medias he is a british sculptor he photographs his uh, work as an en environmentalist producing site specific sculpture and land art situated in the natural and urban settings he lives and works in scotland so as we can see the pictures given here these are not the paintings but they are the real natural things which are arranged in a way that they are looking very fine so these are the small pins you can say or small <laughs> tweaks which were used by the painter to give a particular shape see the stones are arranged in such a way that they look that they have been broken in a same similar line they are looking like a broken pieces of pebbles but these pebbles are not broken they have been painted in such a way that they look really broken so this is the art it can describe a real thing 
or an unreal thing into a live example or it can convert the live example into an unreal thing <clears throat> andy produces artwork using natural materials such as flowers mud ice leaves twigs pebbles boulders snow thorns bark grass and pine cones his work everything is made up of all natural objects and in the natural environment much of his work are made outside and is meant to be temporary he makes the art clicks his photos and keeps the artwork allows it to remain in the natural environment and decay at its own rate he also says that he works with nature as a whole and doesn't use man made tools to produce his sculptures and installations so in this activity we will be talking about a british sculpture his name was andy he uses the natural things to convert it into an art two of the examples are given here you can also search for it in your browser and you will find many examples in such a way <coughs> so activity number 3 and 4 we have completed and this will be the thing for today so <clears throat> for today you have to learn the poem here which is given <clears throat> the starry starry night this page has went off okay it came now you can see the starry starry night <clears throat> you can learn this poem then i promised you to show one of the work of the very famous painter of india is none other manjit baba you can see the paintings <clears throat> which are inspired from the religious books the first painting is showing the fight between ravan and the garuda when ravan was kidnapping sita there was a fight between ravan and garuda and this very famous painting describes the same fight here in the second painting <clears throat> it is describing the nature of lord krishna when he used to uh, blow his flute and everybody in the world used to just sit and keep listening to the very <clears throat> polite and very famous sound which was coming from the flute it was very astonishing that the human beings the animals the flowers the trees all will be playing the same note which was played by lord krishna so this painting is done by mr manjit baba he is one of the very famous <coughs> painters of india he was born in punjab and his brother helped him a lot his name was manmohan singh baba so that's all for today activity number 2 activity number 3 and activity number 4 remaining we will continue in our next video till then keep studying and stay safe